very excited to announce that my school district is participating in the beta program for locked mode on Chromebooks. Now, this is in beta. We are just testing this. It may not be foolproof. So when you launch this and you turn on locked mode, what it's supposed to do is when the students enter the quiz, they're not able to leave the Google form and go to other tabs during the test. This can be enabled here and it'll change color according to the background of your classroom when it's on. This can also be enabled if you click on the gear, go to quizzes, and you can turn on locked mode here as well. Either way will work. I'm gonna build a quick form so that way we can practice this. Okay, now I have the quiz completed. And what I will do is I'm gonna go back into my settings, make sure that, that I have things set the way I want. I'm gonna go into the quizzes. I don't necessarily want them seeing the missed questions or maybe the missed questions, but not the correct answers. You can set immediate or later after manual review. And then it's already set for a quiz. So I will save this. I'm done. I'm ready to send it off to students. I should probably rename this though. There we go. And now that this is done, I am able to assign it to my students. I need to set a topic here, locked mode in Google Forms. I'll set a due date for uh, tomorrow. We will do two points here. There you go. And assign. Okay, so the assignment is set and the students can now participate. So here I am on a student Chromebook. I apologize for the means by which I have to record this because actually lock mode, if I try and record the screen, it will actually close out the recording program. So when I go to the quiz, what will happen is I will go to open it. It should pop up and say that we have a blank quiz and that locked mode is on and then I can start the quiz. What's awesome about it is that it will close out any programs that are running in the background. I'll start the quiz. And what will happen is I will be able to take the quiz. I won't be able to use any of the buttons on the screen to minimize. Uh, I can't use Alt-Tab to switch programs. So I'm gonna go ahead and participate in this quiz. Uh, and if I start to work on it, the only way I can get out of it is to hit Close Quiz or Submit. So when I hit Close Quiz, what will happen is it'll actually tell me that I cannot uh, leave it. If I do, it's going to delete any of my responses. So I lose those responses automatically if I close it. So they can leave it, but they lose everything that they put in. I'll hit cancel. I'll go ahead and finish this quiz right now and hit submit. And then the students get the results. And when that happens, then it goes back to this screen where they can see the results. They're able to switch tabs again uh, and then this depends on whether or not the teacher enabled the ability to see the results afterwards. And that was a setting that I had on the quiz in the first place. So there's a little bit about locked mode in Google Forms. What you're going to want to know is that this is in beta at this moment of the making of the video. So if there are issues, they want your feedback. So when you go to turn on locked mode on Google Forms, there is actually a spot where it says submit feedback. So feel free to submit any troubles, any issues that you have to Google so that way they can improve this product.